Hey, this is Dr. Ol from Science Buddies. Have you ever received a seed paper card in the mail? Did you know you can make it yourself? In this science project, you will make your own seed paper and test the paper's ability as a slow release fertilizer. To create the seed paper, you will first need a few paper products. Feel free to grab them out of your recycling bin. You also need some planting materials to test the seed paper's fertilization capabilities. After you've collected all of your materials, you can start making your seed paper. To make your seed paper, first rip up the paper into small pieces. Pour water over the ripped up paper. Make sure there is enough to cover the paper so all of the pieces are underwater. Then wait at least 10 minutes to allow the paper to rehydrate. Transfer all of the paper and water to a blender. Blend the paper until it becomes a thin pulp. After the paper has become a pulp, transfer the contents to a strainer over a bowl. Let the pulp drain off any excess liquid. Count out your seeds and evenly disperse them on top of the pulp. Push the excess water out of the pulp into the strainer with your fist. Lastly, let the pulp dry overnight to create the seed paper. Repeat these steps for your other paper products. For example, you could use magazines or newspaper. To test the fertilization capabilities of the upcycled paper products, you will need to plant the seed papers under a thin layer of coconut husk. To do this, you will first need to rehydrate the coconut husk in excess water. Mix the coconut husk until it becomes soil-like. Then transfer the coconut husk into each container to the same height. Next, add your fertilizer to each container. The commercial fertilizer will act as your positive control, while the no fertilizer condition will act as your negative control. Your experimental group will be the seed paper. Count out and add the same number of seeds to your positive and negative control containers as your experimental group with the seed paper. Cover the seeds from each container with a thin layer of coconut husk. Check and water your plants daily. Now you can observe how different upcycled paper products compare to a commercial fertilizer. For more information on how you can do this science project yourself, use the link in this video's description. For more projects like this, visit sciencebuddies.org. Thank you for watching and see you next time.